Well today, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're gonna be checking out the Signature Architects Overdrive from Fortin Amplification. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the Tempest. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and I am so excited to talk about this pedal. And I've had this pedal in my possession for over a month now and I've been so excited to finally knock out this video for you all and talk about this beautiful, awesome, amazing overdrive pedal. Now, before we go any further, you can consider this video a sponsored video as Fortin has sent this pedal for me to keep. However, there is no script or anything I need to say or do, but they are allowing me to keep this. So again, you can consider this a sponsored video um, but yeah, apart from that, that's all that's going on here, okay? So I've had this thing for quite some time now and I've been using it off and on. I actually used it live several times this past month. Um, kind of been using it in secret because, you know, obviously I wasn't allowed to talk about it until it was publicly announced. But it's out, the word's out, the Tempest is out, and uh, yeah, man, I've had some time with this thing and uh, I can't wait to dive in and show you guys some tones with it. So real quick, let's jam, shall we? I'm using this pedal in front of my gold-plated Mesa Boogie dual rectifier and using my Balaguer guitars, Toro, baritone, which is tuned down to drop F, and let's jam real quick, shall we? So yeah, it makes my dual rectifier and my Toro sound absolutely amazing in my opinion. The layout and the controls with this pedal are as follows. You have a level, a drive, a high pass, and a low pass. Um, the level and the drive are kind of similar to what you would expect from most overdrives, but the high pass and the low pass really make this pedal unique and make it stand out amongst the rest. Basically, you just have the ability to tighten up the low end and or get rid of all the shrillness if you want to. Um, but yeah, man, just a lot of tweakability with this pedal and it just sounds absolutely killer, you know what I mean? So we knocked out the mix with this pedal. Let's reconfigure my room here. Let's do a casual playthrough. We'll use a Balaguer Guitars Toro tuned down to drop C sharp with a bare knuckle Blackhawk in the bridge. And we'll just do some tweaking and some twisting using the same amplifier and just uh, let you guys hear what this thing sounds like, okay? <laughs>
everybody, that's everything I can show you with this pedal. Forden obviously kills it every single time with all their products, man. Um, and this is exactly, you know, that, a killer product. They nailed it with this one. I love the fact that you have the ability to get rid of some of the high end. Most pedals and most, I don't know, just metal players and guitar players in my genre are, are always focusing on the low end, not getting too muddy. But one thing that is always kind of overlooked and not, you know, really thought about, it's always an afterthought, is the high end. Um, especially with my baritones that I like to use, the high end can get kind of out of control and really shrill really, really quickly. So the fact that you have the ability to compensate that with this pedal is something that I think is a little bit more unique compared to some of the other pedals out there, and I really sincerely dig it. And I like the, the fact that you have the ability to control the high end as well, not just the low end. So a huge shout out to Fortin Amplification. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for always being so good to me. And a huge shout out to you, yes, you watching at home, for checking out this video. I love you guys so much. I am out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.